Gather round, friends, gather round. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Witness. A magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy nights. It's an affront to decency and humanity. A foul, feathered, chattering... Foul! Okay, joke's on me. Open this cage right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. The voice of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins. And the great engine ushers in a new age of reason, logic, and humanity. And an end to sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. This false foul mocked me once before and caused a fellow follower, a fair friend of the cause, great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again, all because of this... this freak of nature! I, Honor Hilaris, candidate and faithful servant of humanity, will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased magic, honoring our ancient human traditions, and... You gibbering coward! When are you gonna shut up and just go away? People are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Here, here. And you? You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just gonna let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reap Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It's, it's a talking bird. Not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being harmed, we cannot intervene. Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards. What do you want, bird? I, I don't have time for... I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Kian. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. You were a friend of April. Friend, partner, sidekick. I came back to Marcuria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you have to help me. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower, and time the is running... The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big, white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower. A secret way. Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest. If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. Hello again. Changed your mind, sir? Do you perhaps want a little sampler? I'm not some barbarian choosing wines merely by colour. A small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. A one. Two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so 
expansive. This should be enough. As we Sounds all like know, Hillary's I'm running for office in the city watch ramblings. where I can personally supervise the hunt for non-humans and magic in Mercuria. But enough talk. This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity must burn. Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I'd use to... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. God save me! God save me! Help me! You not break me. it up. Nothing to see here. Shut up. This poor away. We, we need to get him to a healer. Now! God has protect us. He'll be lucky to survive the night. Right. Party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So, were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. No, not making much of an impression on you. Okay, then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits? You mean... the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. Imbeciles? Amateurs? Don't they know who they're dealing with? Don't they know who I... Finally! What took you so long? I've been in here for days! You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, Master. About bloody time. Home sweet home. I'm sure you remember this place. I mean, you raided it and arrested everyone and directly contributed to closing it down for good. Remember? Yes, Bird. I remember. Good. Yeah, it's a far cry from how it looked back in those happy days. But I've nested here, it's not bad. Also, it's Crow. My name is Crow. What does this place have to do with the tower? Okay, right. So, there's a secret passage leading from the cellar into a ruined subterranean city below Mercuria. Both April and Zoe used it. I've been through there a few times myself. Purely for research purposes, of course. Not to look for treasure. Where's the cellar? Behind the bar and to the right. This is the cellar door? They boarded it up? It wasn't boarded up the last time I checked. Or maybe it was. To be honest, I haven't been down there in ages. Well, I guess this is it. There's no way past those flimsy wooden boards. How about grabbing a cup of ale and a front seat to the end of the world? Hmm. This is it. The end of our journey. And we came so close. I have to say, this turned out to be quite the twist. Okay, violence. I'm not used to adventuring with people who resort to violence. I have to say, it's very refreshing not having to look for keys or levers or trying to trick wizards into lowering bridges. We should have brought you along from the start. You would have saved us a lot of time. Let's go, bird. Crow. Crow! 
Seriously. Watch your step, big guy. Here we are. This is it. The entrance to the grand underground realm beneath Markyria. Uh... It doesn't look so grand from this side, but believe me. There's nothing here. No, no. Watch this. This next part is truly awesome. Ahem. <laughs> look! Look! Not bad, eh? Just like with your foot upstairs, except with my voice. Come on! What are you waiting for? I can't get through there. I'm sure you can. It's just... Ooh, yeah, no. <laughs> I see what you mean. That would be a tight squeeze. You're bigger than I thought, big guy. Weird. When April and Zoe did it, they fit perfectly, and they're not that much smaller than... Wait. I know. You need to sing. Sing? Makes perfect sense. Bird makes music. Bird size hole appears. Human makes music. Well, you do the math. Uh, I... I can't sing. You have a sing hole in your face. Blow air through it. Go on. The fate of the universe depends on it. Fine. How does it go again? Now you. Go! <laughs> Nothing. That was correct, wasn't it? It sounded correct to my ears. That was, uh, serviceable. So, huh. Maybe I need to do it louder. <clears throat> I don't think... Wait, there was something else. When April passed through here, she had some sort of, uh, egg. Egg? A magic egg. It must still be down here somewhere. Unless someone's stolen it. Which is quite possible. It was a while ago. How would a magic egg help? How can a magic egg not help? Come on, look for it! This is ridiculous. I feel... ridiculous. Hey, whoa! What did you do? I used the egg. Weren't you watching? No. But see, see, I told you, the magic egg helped. I guess you needed a magic item because you were so thoroughly... unmagical. Me? I'm a magic bird. I'm my own, uh, magic egg. No props needed. And now there are magic symbols. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Nice work, big guy. And nice work, me. Onwards. Bird. Crow. How hard is it to get that one right? Crow. There used to be a lot of these creatures down here, grubbers, but they've all vanished. I don't know where they could have gone. They wouldn't really fit in upstairs, especially not with the, uh, those new guidelines vis-a-vis -vis magicals. So what we're looking for is right there, a floaty thing what you can row in? Uh, boat? That's it! Row, row, row your boat gently across the, uh, the deep, dark, eldritch subterranean. The entrance to the tower lies on the other shore, so unless you're planning on swimming... The deep, dark, eldritch subterranean lake filled with all kinds of ancient, tentacly weirdness and sleeping gods. Please, bird, silence, crow! And I'm just trying to lighten the mood, big guy. You need to laugh more. 
I laugh when it's appropriate to do so. Show me. What? No. I won't perform for you like a... a trained ape man. Come on. You can do it. It's easy. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> See? Open your mouth, smile, push air through. I mean, I have a beak. I don't know how it works for you humans, but if I was going to guess... Ha! Ha-ha! Huh? Ha. That's, um... That's sad. Frankly, that was disturbing. Please don't ever do that again. You have my word. Good. So, did you and April ever hook up? You know, mate, copulate? No. Bird, you need to learn common decency. And I am gay. I don't mate with women. Interesting. I prefer females myself. But it's not like there's a lot of us around, whatever my species is. And as long as I'm not starting a family of my own, who cares, really? Although I would like to start a family, I'm getting on. It may not show, but I've plucked some gray feathers, and I can feel it in my wings. Most mornings, they're stiff as dry twigs. I won't be around forever. It would be nice with a young wife to take care of me in my twilight years, to regurgitate my food and care for our hatchlings. I'd like to pass down some of the wisdom I've acquired through my journeys across the world, and all the jokes. I'm sure you'll meet the right bird someday, soon. <sighs> I hope so. I really hope so. This is it. This is unbelievable. It's beautiful. My skin's... My skin is tingling. There's a strange energy coming from that... These are dreams. That swirling blue pillar? If you listen closely, you can hear them. Thousands of voices. It is beautiful. This place was built by the grubbers who lived down here as some sort of container to store dreams. And now the grubbers are mysteriously gone. There's probably some greater plot here that I cannot possibly wrap my little bird brain around. The tower's right above us. They built the tower on top of this place. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, speaking of coincidences, I remember the temple that used to be up there, before they tore it down. It belonged to the Sentinel, the protectors of the balance. Nice place. Beautiful murals. Shame it got destroyed. And like I said, probably just a coincidence. That's my way up. I'll fly up and wait for you at the top. It'll take you a while to climb the whole way. Shit, they're trying to break through. Oh, this isn't good. <sighs> that took longer than I expected. I had time for a wee nap. Light. This is incredible. It must have taken years to build all this. It's pretty nifty. And oh so shiny. You Azadi are really into metal, aren't you? 
So, what now? I need to access the engine's central control panel. There should be a speaking tube there I can use to reach Anna, Enu, and Fadaos. I'm guessing that would be in the center of this chamber. And there's someone there. It's just one person. Can you see if he's armed? I don't think so. He looks really old and frail. You could probably kill him with your pinky finger. Actually, he looks familiar. But I'm probably wrong. My eyes aren't what they used to be. We need to be careful, or he may raise the alarm. Stay here, bird. Crow. Crow. It's Crow. It's... <sighs> so, what are we doing, big guy? I need to remove that person over there. Remove? Why not just say murder when that's what you mean? You're gonna murder that old man in cold blood. What? No, I'm not murdering anyone. I'm going to incapacitate him. In other words, assassinate, butcher, annihilate, put him out of his misery, dispatch him to the afterlife. I could murder you. A murder of Crow? A point taken. No incantations, no sorcery, no suspicious wiggling of fingers. I'm not a wizard, not really. Honest to God, I'm... I'm a, a, an engineer, just an engineer. There's something familiar about him. But more importantly, what does he know about the engine? For some reason, his oddly shaped head brings to mind Guillen. I've seen you before. Your misshapen head, it's familiar to me. Were you ever on Guillen? No, I, uh, uh... Uh, the truth now. Not in a hundred years have I been to Guillen. And that's the God's honest truth. That head I could have sworn. What's your business here, old man? What's my... My dear chap. I designed and built this engine. This is all me. It's an accomplishment without equal in this world, and I... Uh... So what does it do? Oh, what does it, uh, uh, it, uh, <clears throat> it calculates. It's a giant calculating machine, that's all. <laughs> the pickled turnip beats the rod and nails every time. He's not being particularly forthcoming, and there's no time for diplomacy here. The pickled turnip beats the rod and nails every time. It's an impressive piece of work. Isn't it? <laughs> A work of art. I got the idea for this after spending a, some amount of time inside a particularly insidious prison. Gods know what they're planning to use it for. I built the engine, but I'm not the one with the grand plans. You'll want to speak with the Prophet and his emissary. They're behind it all. I'm uh, merely a servant. As I said, just a humble engineer. I find that hard to believe. Believe what you... Oh, thank the cruel gods of old you're here, finally! Please save me from this barbarian brute! You'll be sorry, ever threatened foul lout. <laughs> Wizards. Good job taking out the frail old guy. Hey, Clax! What does that mean? It means, hey, Clax! As in Roper Clax. Wizard. Puppeteer, writer, entertainer, slightly creepy geezer. What's Clax doing here? Last time I saw him, he got arrested by the Azadi for doing a puppet show about magic. Don't ask. It appears he's working with the Azadi, not against them. But it doesn't matter. I need to contact Fadaz. And I'll be perching right over here, keeping an eye on things. Clean up down here. What's your problem down there? Another rat getting the gears. Eh? Hello? Hello? Mate? Damn! Certainly. It's a speaking tube locked again. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? That didn't sound right. It was not. Oh. Okay. You should get it right next time. Thank you. That's very helpful feedback, Bird. You're welcome. Hello? Hello? Enu? Anna? Fadaus? Anyone there? 
How does the Shadow Forge thing work? We're here, Kian. Thank goddess. So, what now? Hello? You don't actually have to speak so loud, Kian. We can hear you perfectly well. I'll put Ferdos on. One moment. Apostle? I mean, uh, Mir? Kian? Uh, right. Okay, so, remember our first conversation? You're inside the core now, the heart of the engine. And the chamber you're in, it's a, um, a battery. It contains all the dreams the tower has collected, millions of them. You've probably seen the big glowing blue pillar. That's the vortex, the manifestation of the dream energy. You're standing by the main controls to the engine. I don't need details, Fadaus. Just tell me what to do. Sorry. So, there's a way to control the engine from where I am, but you need to give me direct access first. Right now, the engine will be in automatic mode, because it's, it's designed to be autonomous during the final calculations. You need to put it back into manual mode. There should be a panel to the left of the speaking tube. Locate the knob with a hand symbol on it. That indicates manual controls. And we're in manual mode. Good. That's great work. Um, um, we need to act fast because warning lamps will be lighting up all over. Now that we've disabled the automatic mode, you need to patch me directly into the engine's controls. Uh, do you see the, the panel on, on the, um, uh, I think the far wall behind you? Those are the pipes that connect to my location, to the, um, to the knobs on my console. You must switch that panel's redirector at the same time you switch the signal repeater on the main console. Switch what with what? At the same time? Th that panel's on the other side of the chamber. This operation usually requires two people. Fadaus, I'm on my own here, you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, sure. It's still the only way to make this work, so, uh... I'll figure something out. Hold on. Bird, we have a problem. Naturally. And since you're including me, Crow, in this conversation, what is it you need me to do for you? Fadaus needs access to the engine in order to reprogram it. Fairy Dows? Reprogram? Those words sound like gobbledygook to me. Just listen. Fadaus, will Crow be able to switch on the redirector? Crow? What Crow? Oh, it's that adorable bird who's friends with Zoe. Hey, Kian, are you with Crow? How did that happen? Crow is a large and reasonably intelligent magical fowl capable of following basic directions. Can he turn the switch? Reasonably intelligent? I, um... I don't see why not. It's... it's just a switch. Reasonably? Good. So, Crow, that panel on the other side of the room, there's a switch. Fadaus, what does the switch look like? Reasonably? Really? It's big and it's painted green. It should be easy to find, even for a... a bird. Even for a... Oh, <laughs> just wait till I get my beak on you, fella. All right, point me in the right direction and I'll flip your switch. Even a bird of reasonable intelligence should be able to pull that one off. There. See that panel? Look for a green switch. Wait for my signal, then flip it. Gotcha. Wait, what kind of signal? A, a signal, I don't know, a, a wave. What if you have to wave for some other reason? It could get confusing. A fine, arm waving. I'll keep my eyes open for flapping arms. Wait, did you actually call me Crow before? Not Bird, but Crow? I have no memory of that. You did. You love me. I'll do anything for you, Kian. Anything you want. I can't believe you called me Crow. Just do this, Bird. Crow. There it is again. Consider it done, Kian. Partner. Best friend. Crow's on his way to the other panel. What do I do on my end? So, let's see. There should be uh, three panels where you're standing. And further right, another set of three panels. See the big lever on the first panel? That's the one you need to pull. There's only one. Y you can't miss it. Probably. 
pull the lever and hold it down while the talking bird flips the switch on the other panel. Don't let go until I tell you to. Understood. Goddess. Kian? Kian? What are you- Tana? Mother? Light. Why are you here, Kian? How did you- I'm relieved to see you. Where's- Where's Ami? Is he here? He, he's confronting Vamon's men. Together with the Resistance. Mother, we've seen the camps. We know what's been happening on Guyenne. I know. We... I know. We need to talk urgently. But not here. We must leave now before... Wait. What are you doing here? I've... He kept my eye on this engine, trying to learn what it can do. Kian, I need to tell you something important, and we don't have much... Okay, remind me again about that sign you're supposed to give me, Kian. Was it one arm above your head, or... Oh, hello. Wait, what? You two actually know each other? Crow. What? Does everyone know each other? How many people are there in the world? Five? I guess I should be used to this by now. I've been around you guys long enough, nothing should surprise me. So, Mother, how's the Office of Scientific Research going? You just let me know when you need another message delivered. I'm your bird. The Office of Scientific... You... work for the Office of Scientific Research? Oh, Kian. Works? <laughs> Mother Utana runs the Office of Scientific Research. I know this because I've been a messenger bird for the Mother both in Sadir and here in Mercuria. She's the top dog, numero uno. No one above. She is the Office of Scientific Research. I was going to tell you, Kian. Just... Not like this. Not now. I guess it can't be helped. You knew about the camps, about the Magicals, about what... what Sister Alessandra was doing. How long? How long have you known? Wait. Are you behind all of this? I don't know what to say, except... I am truly... truly sorry. <laughs> Just... Uh, just lie down. I'm sorry. Hold still. Don't die on me. You left me no choice. What... What did you do? Did you just stab him? Why? That's... What happened here? Who's that? An inconvenience. I took care of it. For your sake, I hope you're right. What's the matter with you? That goon. He... He sucker punched me. And now you're back on your feet, so get to... What's the bird doing here? You? Aren't you? No, 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 don't! Afford any more distractions. The dreams are restless. The engine is ready. It is time. <laughs> <laughs>